Hello and welcome back. In this short lecture, we will be learning about Microsoft Azure Garnament Services a little bit more. A Garnament uh, Services uh, are very similar to the Microsoft Public Cloud, but they are completely separated inst instances of Microsoft Azure. And it is Garnament only cloud with a couple of regions. Those are uh, Garnament uh, instances, for example, you can check out here. Like it mentioned here as the um, US Guard Virginia, US DOD Central. So like that, you know, they have uh, specific things just are dedicated for the government services. And if you can, you know, look at here, they are more specific to the, uh, not just for the federal agencies, they can be for the state and local agencies and US Department of Defense and National Security. And also if you look at here, there are uh, two different government uh, secret regions locations are undisclosed that means it's not uh, shown in this map with the Azure government it, it actually follows the same um, practices that the regular cloud does it just adheres the different standards and compliance regulations that the government needs to be adhered so uh, it's more customized for the government and it does offer the same products and services as a regular Azure cloud does and but it built a specifically for the US government uh, it's built to meet the most complex compliance standards and it will definitely includes all the government requirements and like I said since it's basically a normal instance of Azure and supports a board uh, selection of services and tools and the languages just like Azure does now at the bottom of of, uh, it we can see as as your government as the as your secret uh, which I mentioned earlier and uh, and also other things like here you can check out here the federal specific and the state and local and defense and the national security specific things are uh, are categorized it now with the Azure secret it goes a step further and it really meant for national security type of agencies so it adheres uh, to a stronger date of uh, classification levels and meets more straight and compliance requirement and so we have uh, mentioned before it's not just the government agencies that can also use uh, other government uh, contractors or partners as well so if if there are subcontractors for government work or you know like as I said earlier defense contractors or consultants that do work for any type of the government at any level they can also use the as your government and there's a, a process to set up for as your government account aware by both government agency and their partners have to prove that they are in fact government agencies and working on alleged uh, government work in order to get their access and gain the access so you can uh, work at the state or federal or local or maybe a different uh, level of uh, government agencies and with the main part of it is the security and the compliance of the data protection are really just bumped up higher levels since the government usually requires the highest standards uh, possible for information protection now another benefit to Azure government is that it's a fully supported hybrid clouds that means uh, if if the government have any kind of on-premises they can fully integrate it uh, with the hybrid clouds uh, which we talked in the earlier uh, different uh, lessons and this is really helpful for the governments when even uh, today for some kind of information is just to be sensitive so it must remain stored in a government facility and with Azure government there is a hybrid cloud ability so that some information can still reside on premises and other information and systems can be moved to the cloud so this helps to understand about the more productivity and hybrid and inclusion way and also it's most trusted uh, because of the compliance policies that are uh, enforced i hope this is useful for you thank you for watching this